Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so today, taking the truck to get it dropped off to get a new Dobinson's uh, Nitro lift kit installed over in LA. So I was just taking some before measurements that way I have something to compare for when we get it back. So I took measurements at each corner. I did two measurements at each corner from center to fender. So there. And then the second measurement is floor to fender. So just as a comparison. And then also <clears throat> we're going to do, where we did a measurement from the diff, the diff bolt area, which is to me, it looks like the lowest spot to the floor. Took a before measurement there and uh, we should get it back in a couple of days with the lift on it. This suspension is just so shot. I mean, any bump, it's like things are starting to, feels like things are loose in the car as a symptom of just terrible suspension. Every little bump, you know, uh, you know, dip or anything in the road, the truck just bottoms out, the whole thing shakes. It just, I don't know, I've had other Toyotas that have had uh, newer suspension and it just doesn't feel right, so. Hopefully this will uh, not only obviously give us more ground clearance, but definitely be an improvement over the uh, old suspension. I'm going to say that this suspension is probably original, 210,000 miles. So previous owner beat it up and we are here trying to put it back together. So we'll have a second video with the lift kit on it. All right, and here's after the Dobinson's two inch lift. Um, yeah, it rides so much better than before. Pretty sure the original stuff was original. Pretty sure, very sure. The bushings are totally gone. Gone everything, That's the old torsion bars. Um, a little strange how the torsion bars are not in the same packaging. Um, just being extra particular, not sure if that's a thing or not. Been talking to a couple guys, they're telling me that's okay. Looks like they had to bust, bust out one of them, one of the struts to get them out. Here's our gaskets here. So just based on the ride quality and just looking at these gaskets. Oh, there's the old diff drop skid plate spacer. Still looking for an OEM skid plate in SoCal if anybody has one. Previous owner, I don't know what they did with it. And then there's the old springs. So we just went for a, um, I think it's no load in the back. Um, I plan on having my drawer system there it is in the making. We're taking it out because we're going to Big Bear this weekend. So I'll have that in the back full time. Um, if it becomes an issue, then I may have to swap out to medium springs, but I don't think it'll be an issue. So there's the front. Uh, after doing some measurements, the front was raised about half an inch to an inch, I believe. I, I have the before and after numbers, uh, but most of the lift is in the rear. So, but overall, once again, the ride quality is just 210,000 miles with this, that many miles on suspension. It's just, oh, it was a joke. So there's the classic yellow and teal Dobinson's color combo at the back. There's the magna flow, that thing's fun. And then in the front, you can't really see that the new torsion bars and the diff drop right there focus not focusing there it goes yeah once again i thought dobinson's torsion bars or all dobinson stuff says dobinson's on it even on the website you can see the torsion bars have a little sticker um but these don't so once again, just hoping that the uh, supplier um, sold me actual Dobinson's T-bars and not different ones. So, but yeah, 
should be fun. The next test is to uh, take it off road again and see what it does. And then after that, we'll be looking at wheels and tires. I'm trying to look for the right size, maybe a 295, 70, 17, or a 285, 75, 17. I like the 305s, but I don't want to go too big. I don't really plan on re-gearing unless I have to. Um, these currently are, uh, where is it? 275, 70, 18. Those are just like, I think it's like an 08 Tundra wheel. Nothing crazy. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the next step. But for now, we're going to go test it out in Big Bear this weekend. Maybe we'll get some footage of that. Maybe not. I'm not too sure. But yeah, here's the after. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for tire sizes, let me know. Um, I'd say post a picture, but can't do that. YouTube. So cool. There it is. Thanks.